Hi, this is Julie Fox with REF Entertainment here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm here today with Dangerous Dive with the CaffeineRadio.com. Hey, Dive. Hey, Sudie, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Pretty good, so what's going on? Hey, I just wanted to say hi and see <laughs> how you've been doing, and I uh, got a little bit of information about your background and what your interests might be, like in bands, what type of bands you like, and... Ah, so what do you want to know first? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. Well, <laughs> what can we ask you first? Well, a little bit of history about you. Where did you grow up here in uh, Las Vegas, or where are you from originally? I was, I was born in Philadelphia, and Dad transferred a lot of jobs, so we moved all over, and we landed here 15 years ago. I started off with the fashion radio about a year ago, with the F bomb show. F meaning Fremont Street, not the F bomb word, please. <laughs> not the Fokker word. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, two of my friends that were that had the show, they had an equipment malfunction, their sound cards went out. They called it a panic, wanted to borrow my equipment. I said it comes with me and goes home with me. I wound up doing the networking for them on Facebook while they were on air and became part of the show. A little over a month later it was canceled. I went and did, uh, I co-hosted a show with the president of the company mm -hmm. about three days after that. And three days after I did the co-host, he called me and offered me my own show. Wow, that's great. I went on with the Lost Girl show for about five months, took a little bit of a break, came back with Dangerous Dice Sin City, and right now we're doing a lot of recording. We're getting everything back up in order so we can actually go remote and do live remotes. And from there, it's going to be Dangerous Dice Sin City all the way through. Wow, that's great. Listen to your, uh, your radio.com there. Caffeine. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, thecaffeineradio.com. Yeah. We have a blast. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah. tell me a little bit about your, um, what kind of clubs you like to go to around here, what you're into, what clubs you've been to, or been, <laughs> the bands, you know, what you met. <laughs> oh, my main, my main, my main bar, my main bar girl is Vamp Vegas, the Count's Vamp. Uh, Danny and Corey, just, it's, the, it's like they open up their living room to everybody. It's one big rock and roll family. We have a blast. I understand you were there the other night. Yes, it was my first time and I loved it. Yes, it's an amazing place. Yeah. Uh, like I said, the Copers are awesome people. Great bands that go through there have been like Faster Pussycat. Um, we had Janie Lena Warrant when he was still alive. Oh, that's great. Uh, so many bands, local bands, Dirty Paradise, who just rock. I understand you got to see them at the yes, Room. Yes, they were awesome. Yeah. Definitely high. Can't wait for you to see Heavy Honey. Lennon Mace is just Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I know. He is just as hot. He is hot and sticky sweet, let me tell you. He is gorgeous. Look <laughs> forward to going to see him. <laughs> and he is sweet as sugar, too. So mm -hmm. they all are. And Stoney Curtis, who I, I think is one of the greatest blues players. Oh, I just love Stoney. He's, he's amazing. John Zito, Electric Jam, The Count 7 7. Uh, so many have gone through there. Out of the Black, Systemic. Wow. All really, really great bands. All of them have a huge heart. They usually do a lot of the, the local charity benefits. Or the last one we did was Vegas Has a Heart too, and it was for the victims of the Boston bombing. Oh, wow. That's and they were all there. So it was just an amazing group of musicians. And with the unsigned musicians as well, you know, nationally, I've got Mother's Room in the UK, which are awesome. I've got my actually one of my best friends, Shelly Beth Miller. I call him a little swamp rock, poor, poor chunky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she does. She's uh, she's got the devil in the fine print for sure. Oh, that's great. So she's really a very talented, talented lady. Uh, my friend Wally Montgomery over in you know I guess he's Georgia or South Carolina now. He's a really accomplished country musician, and he's looking for that big break. So I try to throw all of them into the radio show. Oh, that's great. Try to mix it all up with you know up to date rock and country. And, blues and pop, whatever I can throw in there to make the two hours or three hours, whatever I have to do. That's great because you get a different variety of different types of music and you get people in there really interested in them. Okay. Yeah, and you know, they hear something that they like. Um, when I was in Half Moon Bay, we actually were at the hotel. We stayed at the Oceana in the harbor. Oh. And my friend was listening to, my best friend Tanya was actually listening to all the music on my laptop and she just fell in love with Shelly. Oh. She's like, Shelly Beth Miller and True Colors and of course, her signature song, Sin City, which will be aired a lot, and that's going to be the title of it. The new show coming up is Sin Di yeah, Dangerous Dice, Sin City. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, of course, it's what other perfect song to put on there is Sin City by Shelley Beth Miller to lead off the show. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a good listen to that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can actually YouTube her under Shelley Beth Miller, and you can actually see the video she did on Sin City. Okay. It's actually pretty cool. Really cool. Loved it. 
That's awesome. Yeah. It's oh, really a lot fun. of great music and bands and your oh, radio yeah. show sounds like it's going to come off really well. That's awesome. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about, I don't know, you have a truck I hear that you just bought. Yeah. Well, not just bought, but you told me about the truck yeah, you bought. Yeah, I've had her about a year. She's a 96 F-150. Mm -hmm. She was owned by one of my neighbors who was the original owner of the vehicle. And unfortunately, as he was having the engine rebuild, he had a heart attack. And it took him over so hard he'll never be able to drive again. So, as you know, it came out of the shop. It sat for four years. I paid thirty five hundred for it, and I just love it. It's big. It's old. It's obnoxious, and it runs good. That's all I care about. Yeah, there you go. As long as it runs. Yeah, as long as it's got heat, air, and a stereo, I'm good. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to um, what if I ask you about your favorite bands? I don't know. I'm not uh, even interested in the bands, the clubs you've been into. Yeah, most of the local bands. Oh, God, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, Dio, Pink Floyd. Wow. I even like, I like Elton John, too. Oh, yeah. yeah I yeah. love Elton John. The bitch is back, baby. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the bitch is back. <laughs> I remember buying that album, and they didn't have radio edit at that time, and my mom's like, you can't hear that because he swears. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, what's he swearing about? A bitch is a female breeding dog. There you go. Okay, no, hey, hello. Put in the right content. I think that's what he's doing, right? Right? Really? Oh, gee, that's what you really get, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it makes it okay. We're okay. Yeah, it does. I mean, yeah. who, says, who says what a swear word is anyway? That's true. That is true. What idiot came up with swear words? <laughs> and where do they come from? <laughs> Here's a question for all your people. Ask them what the origins of the F word are. And see if they can actually tell you the truth on what that is. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you 50% of them couldn't even think of it. That's probably true. I know. Yeah. I didn't know it was until three years ago. <laughs> F word. Yeah, yeah. I found out from an old lady at work. Oh, did you really? Yeah. <laughs> what the true origin of the word was. I was like, oh, gotcha. <laughs> so now I don't even consider it a swear word. Oh. Yeah. Hey. I don't think it is much anymore. <laughs> as much as it being used. I know. It's like just part of daily language. Yeah. Yeah. I, know. I guess it was back then when you know they used to call bitch way back when it was a terrible bad word. Now it's nothing. So yeah, it's like yeah, it's a terrible endearment. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, I'm glad you uh, came out here today, and I really appreciate you here for the interview. And I love to have lunch with you. And it was great. It was a great day. It was yeah. a fantastic day. We have to do it again soon. Yes, I'm looking forward to coming back out here, and you can show me around some of these clubs. Oh, we do vamped. We'll go out to. We'll come down to Fremont Street and really have a blast for the summer concert series. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I know. Oh, fuel and uh, was it fuel and lit the other night? And oh, I didn't see that. Oh. I know, but I'm jealous. You got to see my boys, Dirty Paradise, at the Viper Room. Oh, I am yeah. so jealous. Oh, they're <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Great. That's they are. Really they are right. hilarious. I love those boys. Yeah, they're really down to earth. That's one thing I really like about them. Very cool. Oh, I could just imagine that place lighting up when Dylan when Dylan, Dylan shredded it. Oh, oh yeah. And he did shred it. I was just like. <laughs> and Dallas, he gets up there and he's just all cool and res just. Oh yeah. You're red. And the guy took he took the shirt off and there it goes. All the girls were screaming. <laughs> oh, Dallas, you take the shirt off. That's awesome. He is so darn cute. I just yeah. love them. The pieces are yeah. great. They're great. Well, thanks again, and uh, I'll come uh, come back and have to talk to you again sometime and uh, come out and visit you, too. I will just go party for you. Oh, yeah, I'm good on that, yeah. <laughs> you know. We're going to rock and roll. Yeah, woo!